my name is Pam Wheaton and I'm the laboratory director. Today I get to share a few things about our laboratory. I'll start off with our volume. We do about 5 million tests per year and 29% of that volume comes from outside of the hospital. So not only are we doing testing for the hospital, but we're also doing testing for many of the clinics in Northeast Arkansas, Encompass, and the LTAC Hospital. We receive anywhere from 3,500 to 4,000 specimens per day, 500 blood collections from our phlebotomy team, and the rest are from nursing, ED, OR, and from the reference lab. So many of these specimens will have multiple tests associated. We also have oversight of all the point of care testing that goes on throughout the hospital. We are accredited by the College of American Pathologists, as you may know as CAP. We analyze all types of specimens, including blood, body fluids, urine, stool, respiratory specimens, and tissue. 70 to 80% of the clinical decisions for diagnosis or for treatment are based on a lab result. Our team, we have three pathologists, 50 medical laboratory scientists, five histotechnologists, and 48 certified phlebotomists. Our lab is subdivided into different disciplines and up next you'll hear from our technical specialists that are responsible for each area and how they accomplish a highly reliable result. My name is Corey Finley. I am the microbiology technical specialist. What we do back there is take various body fluids. We culture them for ID and sensitivity. And what you see on the screen is an example of a urine culture. The bacteria that you see growing on that is E. coli. We have already identified that. Now we will set it up on a panel for sensitivity and what that does is it allows the doctor to see what antibiotics are um, effective against the E. coli. Hello, my name is Shannon Battles and I am the Technical Specialist for Histopathology. Histopathology is the diagnosis and study of disease of tissue. Last year, we received approximately 13,000 specimens from various locations such as surgery, OSC, GI, and the imaging center. When we receive the specimen in pathology, it is measured, described, and cut into smaller pieces before being processed overnight. The tissue is then cut and put onto slides to be stained, then given to the pathologist to be read under the microscope. Histopathology works closely with all departments and physicians to aid in the diagnosis of patients. Hi, I'm Dylan Carter here at St. Bernard's. I'm the tech specialist for clinical chemistry. I'm responsible for 116 different tests. Those include routine chemistries like BMPs and CMPs, uh, as well as lipid panels. Uh, we do cardiac markers for troponins and BNP. We do cancer screening uh, with PSA, CA125, and CEA. We do markers of infection, such as procalcitonin, and lactic acid. Um, we do therapeutic drug monitoring for uh, vancomycin and other antibiotics as well as drugs like phenobarbital. Um, and we do several other tests that aid in clinical diagnostics. Um, our test volume is around 4 million tests a year. And on average, we have about 200 to 300 tests per hour of each day. Hi, my name is Sarah Copeland and I'm the technical specialist over the blood bank here at St. Bernard's. Our main focus in the blood bank is blood transfusions. Before all transfusions, we will determine the patient's blood type, but we also test for unknown blood antibodies and compatibility between the patient and the donor. This testing just helps us ensure that transfusions are safe as possible. We transfuse blood products for a variety of different reasons, such as anemia due to sickle cell disease, cancer, chemotherapy treatments. We give products during and after surgeries and, of course, for traumatic events. Um, we transfuse patients of all ages, from adults all the way down to our brand new babies in the NICU. We have recently implemented a new technology called TEG for our cardiovascular surgery. And this new test helps the surgeons determine if they want to transfuse products and then specifically which products they want to transfuse. The goal for this is to mitigate blood loss and also to minimize unnecessary transfusions. On average, we transfuse between six and 700 blood products each month. 
And all of those blood products are donations that are supplied to us by the Red Cross. Blood products are in critical demand, and since COVID, there has been a nationwide blood shortage. Um, St. Bernard's hosts blood drives throughout the year, so if you're able, please consider donating. The blood that we collect from those blood drives directly impacts the supply that comes back here to our community. Hello, my name is Carol Wendell, and I'm the supervisor over hematology, coagulation, and urines. The hematology area performs about 600 tests a day, and those tests will screen for anemia, leukemia, and sickle cell. The coagulation department performs the tests that look for a person's ability to stop bleeding, if there's a blood clot in the lung or the leg, or monitors medications such as heparin, Coumadin, and Plavix. Depending on the day of the week, we perform around 100 urinalysis and 30 pregnancy tests a day. A urinalysis is often referred to as the greatest screening test in the laboratory. It will screen for a urinary tract infection. It will aid in the discovery of liver and gallbladder problems, diabetes, certain forms of bladder cancer, and kidney stones. The other tests offered include your urine drug screens and nicotine. 